Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? You guys doing good? I'm doing good too. Let's get today with today's session. Here we go. So, we are going to be celebrating for PC Sonic Mania. Yeah, man. Sonic Mania. On the PC, the way to celebrate it is this Coca-Cola drink. Yeah! Whoa! Sonic! Ah! Sorry, I'm going a bit crazy. Sorry about that, fellas. So here we go. Sonic Mania. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be talking about Sonic Mania. Let's have a bit of a sip of the Coke again. Apparently, Sonic Mania got delayed on the PC. Optimizations. The game wasn't working properly. The graphics weren't like tend to be right. And it wasn't playing so good. It maybe wasn't up to standard. That usually happens with some PC games. Bear in mind, these console people are probably excited. They've got it on their system. But who, who, to? them because first of all we've got the Nintendo Switch version so all of these three versions on the console came on Tuesday 15th August 2017 now let's see all the problems that these consoles faced Nintendo Switch yeah, the latest console made by Nintendo. Wow, it's only been out for a few months as well. Sonic Mania on that system was terrible. It was good in one player, but the other modes, it just struggled. Uh, it was said that the multiplayer mode in it had framing issues, slowdowns, it's terrible. Terrible gaming multiplayer. So when when two people get together and start playing the game in multiplayer, the game was just performing bad, bad, bad. Now I'm confused. Is it a system or is it a game? I can prove it right now what it is. A lot of people think the Nintendo Switch is a terrible system. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how can Nintendo Switch be a terrible system that it can't play a 16-bit game or a 32-bit game? Hold on, guys. For one thing, Nintendo Switch has one of the I don't know if it's the finest, but it's a pretty graphical tense and a very good multiplayer game on it called Splatoon 2. How can a Nintendo Switch be, Switch be a terrible system when Splatoon 2 is a far more advanced game than Sonic Mania? <laughs> don't get angry, please. Calm down, fellas. I'm not cussing Sonic Mania. I'm just saying, just saying, please, 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 calm down, everyone. So what I'm saying here, it's not the system, it's the developer who made the game. It's very obvious, Nintendo Switch and its own developers, who's made games which are pretty advanced games as well, they didn't struggle. In multiplayer, 
and why is and Sonic Mania struggling? This developer is not talented. If he was talented, Nintendo Switch is not supposed to be having these problems. Mm -mm. Can you ever think a machine like Nintendo Switch struggling from Sonic Mania? That is a flipping joke. Any stupid person says that is Nintendo Switch doing it. Get yourself brain checked up, man. It's not the system, right? The system has great, powerful games and quite few multiplayer games available by Nintendo, man. Nintendo does not make, make any piece of crap. All of their hardwares are pretty good. Whatever they make. They might be not what you guys expect from them. <laughs> Third party support has they all struggled in that. So that's covered. But the way we looked at it, Sonic Mania was a thumbs down game on Nintendo Switch. Then we have the Xbox One version. That's that game is probably quite good on it. Yeah, it's pretty good on it. It didn't struggle. And the PlayStation 4, same again, good performance, excellent. Xbox One and PS, PS4 version, both are quite good. They're identical to each other, but there weren't enough mods in the games, were they? You won't able to enjoy that game for very long on there, because there's not many mods in the game, man. Hmm. Bad. It seems to me anybody owns any one of them three consoles. Sonic Mania is not the best version on there. Sorry. You whether like it or not, it face the truth, it isn't. The best version is coming on Tuesday. 29th August 2017 on the PC man it has the best modes available well I've seen what modes it got in there it's got uh, one player multiplayer local online co-op Leaderboards, Steam Cloud. Wow. Local amount of more this game has. It's going to be very, very playable, man. You will be playing this game longer than them three consoles. So it's a longer game. It's more playable. A lot, a lot of modes. Now, the thing I love about PCs is that the PC settings. PC literally has the best PC settings. They have the best settings available when it comes to games. Now, we know this game is a full HD game, but you can set the resolution that you like, but it's not usually true that the full HD makes the game look nice. Sometimes, having a bit of a lower resolution makes the game nicer. Obviously, 1080p is a full HD, but I think some of them like um, resolutions are named, which are really really stunning. Is the 1280 times 1024, 1366 times 768, 1440 times 900. Obviously, the other ones are which are high, high ones. 1920 times 1080. 1920 times 1200. So the best system, it's going to be laptop, desktop PC, and 
the ultimate laptop PC GPD pocket. Oh yeah! So you get to play this game on GPD pocket. Celebrate Sonic Mania on the GPD pocket. Windows 10 64-bit OS architecture system. So the game will be available on Tuesday, 29th August 2017. I hope this video has helped you greatly and is given all the information on the four platforms this game has been available and which one's going to be the best. So I hope it's made your mind up and the rest is assured and it's entirely up to you a version you choose to buy. Okay! Give me a likes, comments, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye from now.